The latest update in WWE 2K23 has given us even more secret updates that we have now found. The first one we're looking at is going to be Blair Davenport, who's part of the brand new Revel with Wyatt Pack DLC. Blair now has two theme songs that are put in the game. When you go over to create an entrance and you select Blair Davenport, you are going to see the default is her first theme, but they have her brand new one in here too. So make sure that you update this for her entrance as well as her victory motion theme. Now, speaking of themes, one of the big one is going to be Shatter for Bray Wyatt. And I had wondered when the DLC was going to drop, if Bray's theme was going to be accessible to anybody else or it was just locked to him. The good news is that the song Shatter is available to use for any wrestler, any creation you have. Plus, it is also available in the jukebox. So you can just put that baby on repeat all day long. Now, sticking with Bray Wyatt, he's the big, big piece of this whole DLC. Now, with his entrance, there's a lot of things that we can do to customize it to get it kind of the way you want. So by default, Bray has the twinkly lights and he's got the door, right? Well, we have other options here where we can customize this to make it a little bit better and we can add in the fireflies for his entrance. They're not there by default. Now, one of the first things you can do is that you can change Bray's motion for his entrance and you can change it to Firefly Cultist 1 or 2. Firefly Cultist 1 will have Bray just come with the lantern all the way to the entrance. And number 2 has the rocking chair from his original entrance. But to get the fireflies, head over to your timeline and you want to edit the pyro and you want to select Firefly Cultist 1. Press A or X on your controller. You want to be able to enable this and then click it again so that you can select move and drag it so it fills the entire timeline. And you repeat this for every single section of pyro for the entrance. Now it doesn't work. It's gonna be grayed out for some of the sections of the entrance. When you play it back, you got all of the lights in the crowd and it looks like Bray's real entrance. So it's a great little update. The only downside is that if you select Bray's original entrance with the door and you do all of this, it's gonna remove the smoke out of the doorway and that area at the entrance ramp. Now, what some people have been asking about is with regards to the mask and his entrance. By default, Bray Wyatt comes out with his big black mask and it's all very spooky and scary, Ooh. But you can remove this. Go over to create a superstar, under attire and his entrance, edit the attire, select clothing and his head, and then simply remove the mask. This is going to set up another slot for attire one, where he'll come out without the mask. So in the game, if you're going to pick Bray Wyatt, the default, that will have the mask. If you select attire one, that will be the entrance without his mask. And personally, I kind of like it without the mask. I watched it a couple of times and I've already kind of outgrown it. So I'm glad we have the alt version here where you can see Bray coming out and he's got no mask and it looks really, really cool just like this. Plus he emotes better because he's got a little bit more facial reactions as he goes through the entrance. Now, other cool things you can do with Bray Wyatt in the game. If your opponent is running at you, you can counter with the sister Abigail. It can be a little tricky to time out, but if your opponent is running at you and you got your signature, you can hit it if they're very, very close together and Bray will turn right into a sister Abigail with a pin, creates kind of a fun pin combination. And sticking with moves for Bray, if you set up Bray Wyatt Uncle Howdy as a team, or just simply set up Bray's tag team finisher, you can set it for Mandible Claw slash Sister Abigail combo. Now, if you make these two a team, it looks pretty good. Simply throw your opponent into the corner, do the tag team finisher, and you're going to get this beautiful combination with a dummy Uncle Howdy. Now, I wanted to check out with this patch that we got, the 1.3 slash 1.4. What were all the updates? What was everything from my GM's universe mode? we really didn't get very much. One thing they did do with having Bray Wyatt added in, if you play any universe and I set up a brand new one just to check, Bray Wyatt is on SmackDown and he actually has Alexa Bliss and Uncle Howdy as his managers in the game. Unfortunately, there is no special tag team motion for Bray and Howdy together, not even like a Bray and manager one kind of thing. And there isn't anything with Alexa Bliss. So when they come out, it's just going to be a standard entrance with two generic walking managers. But some cool things that we did find within universe, kind of little Easter eggs here. You obviously have Bray Wyatt's title history with his rumble appearances, his manias, as well as the titles he has earned. But then when you go over to Uncle Howdy, he's also got months of activity. He's got eight months worth of activity and he's been in the rumble. Now this, I think is looking at Bo Dallas's history because when we go over to the titles, we can see a couple of things. 
For the 24 seven championship, you can see that they have made Uncle Howdy earn it one time, but no days held. If we look at the Raw tag team titles, you can also see that Uncle Howdy has won the Raw tag titles one time and that he's held the Raw tag titles for 50 days. B team, B team, go, go, go. And then for the NXT title, the 17 to 21, Uncle Howdy has held this thing one time and he's held it for 260 days which I think is just kind of clever that they are saying that it is basically Bo Dallas. They didn't make the actual Uncle Howdy character look like Bo. He's a creepy ghosty blue man. Okay, this next find, are you ready? Because it's coming in from one of our great community members, Javi. Javi pointed this out to me on a stream, checked it out, and it's legit. 2K has kind of fixed Degeneration X. I click on Shawn Michaels 2005 as an example. If you go over to the templates for the entrance, you will now see Shawn Michaels 97 listed as a template. I know. And everything is Degeneration X. Now the Titantron movie will show as Shawn Michaels 97, but you can change it to DX. And that lovely little line in there where it says entrance music, Shawn Michaels 97, it is in fact the DX theme song. So apply this to anybody you want, it officially works. Javi, shout out to you. Great find. Now I went over to Triple H because I'm a massive Triple H fan. I wanted to see if I could do this over here. Triple H 97 isn't there. The DX is not there. But a workaround that you can do is use Triple H 08 in the game. Put the template for Shawn Michaels 97 and then switch everything back to Triple H or DX and obviously keep the theme song as Shawn Michaels 97. You'll get everything branded DX with the Triple H entrance and DX entrance music. So this makes me really happy. It also makes me very hopeful that the next patch, they're gonna add in Triple H full DX and that they would hopefully do it on the tag team side. Now I've tried to do this with the tag team. It does not work. I got a previous video on the channel about a workaround on how to get DX as a tag team. It does work with community creation downloads. Go check that out. But with what we have here today updated, you cannot simply make the DX entrance work with Shawn Michaels 97 music. It doesn't work. I tried copying stuff. I can't get it to work, but it gives me hope that by the next and final update, we'll get DX finally in the game. Now, let me talk to you. Yeah, it's LA night, of course, but we have great lines of dialogue in this update specifically around Bray Wyatt. The first one being, if you're going to have Bray Wyatt go up against LA Knight, you get this commentary. Can't seem to come to terms with one another's very existence, LA Knight and Bray Wyatt. Well, there's a lot of frustration at play here on both sides. Knight just can't wrap his head around Bray's antics and thinks he's deranged. And from Wyatt's perspective, that's all Knight's fault. He says Knight created him, that he opened the door, and now Wyatt has to unleash all the darkness Knight's brought upon himself. You know what? He is deranged. So I love the callbacks to different matches that they include here. The other one they do is if you're going to put up Zeus versus Hulk Hogan, and I put them up at WrestleMania. Check this out. Transcended the silver screen and made it all the way into the squared circle. Hogan has said there's a score to settle, while Zeus has filed to make Hogan pray to him. I personally can't wait to see this one unfold. Zeus is a man possessed. This could be a tough situation for the Hulkster. Hogan's immense power and the strength from the Hulkamaniacs have lifted him to incredible heights. But Corey, what does he have to do to topple Zeus? Game plans fly out the window against Zeus. He's got that immense power and strength too, so Hogan's got to rely on his agility, land heavy offense, and move. By the way, Zeus, I'm kind of, I kind of like playing as Zeus. He has a double axe handle chop that dummies Hulk Hogan and everybody else, brother. Go play as Zeus a little bit more you might might have fun like I am. The next hidden thing that we have here is going to come from Elimination Chamber. If you select Bray Wyatt with the standard Bray Wyatt entrance, his new one, you will get a really cool Elimination Chamber entrance motion of Bray. If you change Bray's entrance to Firefly or to anything else, it's not gonna do this motion, but this, you get a really cool look of Bray Wyatt entering Elimination Chamber. It's really, really awesome. And everybody's favorite in the game is going to be, well, The Fiend. And we don't have The Fiend in the game yet. What's the status is working on a lot of Fiends. So we're gonna get that updated, which is wonderful. It might come later as my faction thing. But what we do have is that if you change Bray Wyatt's entrance to Fiendish, all the commentary is for The Fiend. Check this out. Nightmare has returned. Now we thought Bray Wyatt had controlled this part of his psyche, but we were wrong. The Fiend is back. This entity 
known as the Fiend, has seemingly become invulnerable. A two-time Universal Champion. I challenge you to find anyone in the business with more effective mind games than the Fiend. The Fireflies remain, but this version of Bray Wyatt is completely detached from the WWE Universe. And that makes him even scarier because the Fiend will stop at nothing in his quest to spread fear throughout the WWE Universe. Now this patch did give us quite a bit, and if you want downloads and more hidden things that we have found, click this video right here because it's got way more for you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.